stop dreaming. What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we're back with another episode of Poker Hands. Today, we're going to be taking a look over Paul Fua's amazing run in the $100,000 Super High Roller event in Sochi, where he ended up winning over $1.5 million. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. With the goods. He's going to limp in under the gun, all right. Yeah, there's 14, 15 blinds. I'm just a limp, is it? Here's oh. just a limp. I can see the thought process in this, but I just don't think there are many hands you want to play from under the gun on an eight-handed table near the money or 15 blinds. But the theory being, he's going to have some hands like Queen Jack, King Jack, all these sort of suited high card combos that want to see a flop. Michael, happy to limp behind it, as you know, he's very dominate with Ace Deuce. <coughs> Mateo's happy to see a free flop with nine five of clubs. Wow, flops top pair and a gut shot draw on 9-8-6. Does decide to check it. Certainly a board that he could consider leading, given he has the uh, widest range. This fits it a little bit more than the others. We're starting with top pair and a gut shot. That's good enough to go check calling with. And, well, Paul laid the trap pre and now is a little panicked, perhaps, by that board. Doesn't want to mess around anymore, decides to rip it in. Now he can have some hands, I guess like Jack-10, Queen-10, suited that may help fill in the bluffs in this spot. Ah, misclick. <laughs> misclick! <laughs> what do the rest? Free flop. Ah, <laughs> there we go. 20-40, win rest, 20-40. That makes a lot more sense. You got extra. So it's rough. Well, I mean, he might have defended his big blinds, so maybe it was the same, but... Yeah. It's clear. <laughs> it's well, <so> Mateus <laughs> nodding there. I think if Paul had been raised pre-flop, Mateus <laughs> would have peeled with 9-5 o'clock. He's saving grace for him. Is that Paul in the big blind is so short that he is disincentivized to call. Maybe that's why he thinks... Albeit undergun six-handed, he's going to have some raises that are sub all in. Because this man can't peel as wide in the big blind. Okay. Paul is though going to call with deuces. The two shortest stacks go into a flop with a stack to pot ratio of just one. And wow, what a flop this is. Set of deuces for Paul Pua. Top pair, top kicker for Burns. And this is going to be one of the ones where they just Hollywood as much as possible. Burns going to bet King 6 deuce near 100%. Slides he has to do so, of course, therefore, with top pair, top kicker, bets one blind. Paul doing the full acting job now. Nothing he can do but call. Cool. No reason to raise. Wants to keep in all the worst hands. Brick on the turn, as they all are on this board. Oh, checks again. Has 300k back, 450 in the middle. Burns with a decision now whether to bet small here. Or just jam. Of course, he's going to have a lot of bluffs coming past the flop. Hands that he raised pre-flop, but missed King-7 do So if he's doing this with Ace-King, we can assume he's doing it with Ace-Queen, Ace-Jack. Although... Still surprised he doesn't just jam all his hands from the seat. So he is going over a size and it's designed to make life really tough for Paul. But Paul, with a set of deuces, life is easy. 
just 170k more will be the jam, and that's what's surely coming now. Any second. I'll double check at the cards. This is a very peculiar hand. Well, through and through. Well, Snap cool, well, and I'll get the news he's drawing dead. <laughs> <laughs> 12 big blinds in play. We managed to get a pre-flop raise, a flop bet, and a turn check raise. Part of me less than that, of course. Pool started with 10 bigs, maybe even fewer. Three ten. Well, that's a cold deck, no matter how deep you are. As you see, Pool's starting the hand with less than 10 big blinds. Quite remarkable. But this is also a pretty, pretty, pretty weak hand. And Paul, this is a, again, this is a spot where, you know, he can get some folds from Paul. Paul doesn't want to call off so light here. This is really, this is a tough one. Total 485, right? Yeah, six yeah, blinds. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to think what I would do in this one. I mean, just because that, that is a 250 jump, you realize if you double him up, you're, you're basically on life support. And right. he's then healthy. There's also going to be... Well, he does make the call. Uh, I, I, I think it's just about right. With yeah, King seven. it feels right. I think I would do the same, especially you know Paul's just playing. Paul's not in there for yeah, the ball. ladders. He's, right. He wants to make the best decision and. He's again asking Webster, was, was that the right? Was I supposed to call there? King, I think yeah, you just got a call. Let's we'll see the flop first and. Well, that's yeah. about as good as it gets for King seven off against three four. Mateus with a deep sigh. Very little path back in this one. Wants a five or a six or a three. Couple of outs. Jeff, he's got a chance. Six wouldn't be an out with running. He can't make a running straight, could he? If it came five, six, right? Three, four. What that, that would be a straight, yeah. Right. <laughs> We're all good, Jeff. Wait, it didn't come. Don't worry six, about it. Five. No, six, yeah, six, five, four. Okay. Yeah. yeah, runner, runner. We saw the one today. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They're going around, you know, the runner runners, and it materialized there for a second. Yeah, three right. on the turn. You want a six or five, not the uh, the three. Ooh, the they running they three, three or four, four would be <laughs> quite quite something. <laughs> yeah, <my> well, <laughs> Mateus picks up that 420k <laughs> fourth place. Everyone. Now he can fold it. At the same time, we see Ibinger really leverage his stack, and cool. Yeah, I just, I don't think he could lay that down, and Paul's going to love to see it. Come on. Ooh. If you're going to get your title, Paul, you got to hold this, and you got to show us how to play this hand, because this is the Ace one that queen. we just, yeah. On my team. On our team, Paul. Come on. Ace queen, Ace check. Like all these guys, but Me, uh. I'm just, I'm officially out on Ace queen. Me, uh. I'll, I'll do some weird stuff in the future may, with may, Ace may queen. Paul's going to get it done. Oh, die, oh, you think oh, so? If, King, King even three. even this happens too. It seems like a lot. The three. chop, you know, like it ha this, And Ibinger's got the spade too. I mean, yeah. Oh man. Ibinger. Paul's we'll focused today. take a three today. at this point in time. Oh, that's a oh, clean take one. A four. Paul. Ooh, we'll get a double up and Paul's become ship leader. Four out of five. Paul's focused. Ibinger. It's a lot of cards. Paul's thinking of. Okay. Wow. There it is, Jeff. Ten. Paul, Paul Pua Paul finally shows us how to do it with Ace Queen. That was beautiful. I'm Late in down. the week, someone's nah. brought that hand home. And all of a sudden, you have a new chip leader here in our 100K Super High Roller. It is the boss, Paul Pua. Getting, what, eight to one? That's it's asking for a lot to go right, but I, I don't know. What you just, you probably throw in the bin there. Yeah, I think it's just a little too weak. Yeah, probably eight five is suited, and so here he is. He's gonna it's gonna work out here at the moment. Anyway, faces a one big blind bet Paul. from the limper. And you got Paul with top pair. Pardon me, of course, Paul with top pair behind his head is working out at the moment. It's obviously ahead of Ibinger. but yeah, of course, Paul checked the option with his queen. Wow. Well, uh, it's gonna work out here, Jeff, because there's a better hand behind, but. I'm not a fan of the complete with 8-5, but if we do complete and we flop second pair on this board and we check to the button and he bets one blind, uh, we have to call. But in this instance, he gets it right. Yeah. Paul's lurking behind with top pair. And this is a sort of one little stab from my binger, right? Not going to follow up with king high, no draw. 
you know, this is designed likely to get to like this situation and even gets a pull, free pull at a, a king or six. I mean, a six could be good too, right. but a king in his mind, you know, and it just doesn't make a lot of sense to just go, go rifling off here with uh, no real equity spot, you think. But then again, you got, you got times where... And you see, like, uh, some crazy play. I would be shocked anything but that. And, you know, this has got to feel good for your Paul. Get to realize that there's not a lot of value hands he's going to do this and then just check back the turn with. All right, and it's a interesting spot for Paul, whether to bet or check here. I don't mind. I think he might check. I, actually, I don't know. I, I I'm not sure. I lean towards the betting, but... With the weakest queen, the... But yeah, what does does Ibinger get super tricky? What would he do? Would he would he ever bet like a flush and then check back? Doesn't make sense, right? You're gonna want to take yeah. get value out of the queens and protect unless it's a nut flush. So it's like I like the sizing as well. It's gone 225, pretty small. He has a lot of Paul has a lot of hands. That I guess might that's want to continue some like gut shots with a with a heart. But might want to bluff the river. Doesn't have too many strong hands, so kind of resorts go small sizing and. But this Ibinger may try and hero off here with King High, right? He thinks, well, maybe Paul's got 4-6 with a 6 of hearts. 3-4 with a heart. Doesn't think he has too many queens. He's pulled my better queen on the flop. The big, big, big decision actually in terms of the pot and and what if he loses 225 more gives Paul 225 more. I mean this is a this would be some real separation even though it doesn't appear like that big a deal. But it's also if he gets a he relinquishes this pot and he was good so he is gonna make the call wow. and uh, and I can see why. Yeah. Jeff, like like I say, three four, three six, four six, all with a heart. These kind of hands. I think maybe expects Paul to bet some queens on the flop. Doesn't expect him to bet a five. Yeah, this is a big, big flop for both players. I mean, Webster, if you're Webster, you could, I guess you could be thinking about Yeah, it goes all in. I think it's just a good spot for Paul to call. I don't think you can fold this hand. The count, please. Like I say, the bluffs are 5-6, five, 5-7, five, deuce 5. You've got all of them in pretty bad shape. The value hands, what? Well, yeah, he might decide to check raise a 4 because it's so vulnerable. But you're, you do okay against the four. You've got a gut shot and you've got two overs. Yeah, I think that's ultimately the decision. The, th the problem with the thinking, it, it most likely has a four because you block the five, right. six, five deuce, and you can't put them necessarily on that. Although those are the most obvious draws, it makes some sense. I think you just think he has four X. But there's a lot of them, right, Jeff? The seven, six, the seven, five, the five, six, the five deuce. Yeah, we do block them. There's a, there's a lot of combos. If but still, it could be, three yeah. fives. Man, I mean, he, it, this just has to be a call. I mean, I, I think so, but I think how Paul is approaching it and what he's thinking, I just think, I, I don't know. I don't know if, I, I agree it's, it is, especially when he bets, puts it out, puts out the the bet and gets check raised. So I what, he's, he's calling. Bet, I think he's going to get get there in his mind that he realizes this is a spot he has to call. There Maybe. we go, he's starting to mention the hands. He's got him in, he's got, this is a big, 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 decision big moment here if he can Webster, get this you just never get anything up look at him he's just check raised all in with seven high playing for a million and a half dollars and there's not an expression on his face for his body look at his neck there jeff there's nice nothing nice call does make wow the call. wow here we go great stuff all around and it, it man took a it's high level there, but i love it <laughs> sorry brother <laughs> sorry brother it's not over Paul. come on the you played in enough really but. bad shape that's what makes this such a good spot way better than say if he had ace king right and here we go. Paul with a chance to take a huge chip lead into heads up play. Or will Webster level things up? Dodges oh, yeah. the turn. That was scary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of pips on those cards. Yeah. Just trying to fade a seven or a six with one more card. And there we go. This man. If it breaks out, he'll have his largest career cash. And there Paul it is. does it. Great hand all around. Nice play by both players. Paul sorting it out oh, then. Will you call it? <laughs> Block the five, huh? It's, it's a hard decision. Hard yeah, decision. It is. Block the five, yeah. Yeah. About that. Paul hopes he doesn't go in runs. I being a winger's first hand for a while.
Well, he's going to probably win this one. Ace nine against ace five. Paul's been ripping. He needs to not rip this one, Jeff. Oli, Oli. Well, he has oh. ripped it, and I don't think oh. I think he's going to call oh, ace nine, isn't he? Oh, you, you've been jammed on this many oh, times. Uh oh, Paul doesn't like to hear that because that means if it's like you know. I'm going for it. Yeah. Jesus. This is ace two. Well, well, there we go. I mean, there's no way I think could fold that with the amount of times Paul have been jamming. Paul behind. Oh, yeah, behind, behind. But a shot to win his title. Need to five. I think I will. It's five. Get up to 4.8 million if he holds. Oh, Ace, yeah, king, seven. Top. All right. There are some chop chances here. King on board, pair the seven, pair the next card confident? would also be a chop. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mathematician. <laughs> Three. Okay. Oh. Well, hey? That's not the one I he wanted to pair up. You need to hope for card above a nine. Nine, ten, jack, queen, split. King, ace. Oh, big card, big card. Nine or above. Mother Yang. Deuce. B card, yes. There chop. it is. Ace is full. Both have full house. You should have been confident, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Any more defending? Suddenly, stack to pot ratio is getting very shallow. Just two x. The remaining pot and wow, Whoa. top and bottom for Paul. Third pair back doors galore. For Eibinger. Yeah. Like it goes small on the C bet. Interesting. I mean, Eibinger, I don't think has too many hands that completely miss Ace Nine Eight peeling off his stack size. I guess there are some suited kings, suited queens that may fold for that kind of sizing. But of course, top and bottom, we're not looking for folds. We can go a little unbalanced. King on the turn, not a card. My being I likes to see. It's red, but it's not a heart. Paul just going to follow up here. That should be the end of this one. Yeah. Paul, oh, they call it a dead man's hand. Ace eight suited flops, a very nice flop. You gotta feel just over the moon about this spot. Yeah, and you get cool that flop. Come on, I'm trying to end it here. And yeah. it's the second time we've seen this kind of board. Last time it was ace nine six. This time it's ace nine eight. Where Paul's fired the second barrel, and I think it's going to be forced to fold. It was a flop third pair. Yeah, Hansi's beating 10 jack, 10 queen, queen jack, but that's that's about like it. Blocks them. Yeah, exactly. The 10 in his hand's not good. and I mean, it's just. Whoa. Well, I'm kind of surprised. This is. Uh, he continues once more. He has 0%, and he's he's calling it down. He's got his, it's kind of like saying he just doesn't believe him, but I mean. Right, this is like one last. Cool here, really hard for Paul to bluff the river. Obviously, Paul just going to take a little bit of time before moving in for Ibinger's remaining 970k. Super clean. A real double check of the cards. Jeff. I guess to be fair though, you know he doesn't have a he doesn't have a diamond in his hand. He doesn't have I, the ten has hurt him, and I just Ibinger. Hates to see that. He was lo would love to see a give up, but not the case. And I just think the ten's such a bad hand, Jeff, to yeah. call the turn with. Yeah, I mean, I guess he could think his opponent could have like six, seven, two. He did raise pre though, right? Four hundred. So. He's gone bet, bet, bet. I mean, I don't want to second guess Ibinger. The guy knows what he's doing in poker, but right. just uh, it appears to me as an interested observer. 10 is not the best card to have in your hand here. Maybe he's just had enough of it. Paul's been bashing away. We've seen Paul's had some hands. I say the action was the same two hands ago. 
I've been. Oh, I'll tell you what. He calls the turn though. He's really. He's putting out a third of his stack remaining at that point. He's. He's making a statement that he thinks he's good. He's not looking to hit a ten or an eight. And. Uh, I binger. In I the don't tank. believe you. Wow. He says, says I don't he believe, you. believe you. He makes the call. Oh. Paul Poor wow. is the winner. Oh, holy. He did it. He's got his trophy. He's got it, Jeff. He's done it. He wins this title. The smile beaming across his face. There, <laughs> there it is. is. Yeah, after five years. After five years. <laughs> oh, oh, my binger. Picking up a million dollars for second. Wow. No shame in that. Said, I don't believe you. I'd have enough of this. Look at Things that Things are smile. going Paul's way, but that Look is it. Look at that. That is a man that is happy for this trophy. Paul gets it done. Got to be. I mean, yeah. What are you going to say? There it is, Paul. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for the best poker videos on YouTube. Make sure to also check out our previous video if you missed it, and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see on the next Fury TV.